13 multiple choice questions were asked from the section matrices and determinants in the recently conducted January 2024 session of Joint Entrance Examination Main Mathematics. These questions, these examinations were held from 27th January 2024 to 1st February 2024. Out of these 13, we will now discuss the five multiple choice questions in this discussion. Let's go to the first question. This question has appeared in the JEE main exam held on 27th January 2024 in the first shift. The given question is consider the matrix f of x is equal to a 3 by 3 matrix whose first row is cos x minus sin x 0 second row is sin x cos x 0 third row is 0 0 1 given below are two statements statement 1 f of minus x is the inverse of the matrix f of x statement 2 f of x multiplied by f of y is equal to f of x plus y in the light of the above statements choose the correct answer from the options given below so we are given four options so we have to discuss which of these uh, statements are true right so we are given a matrix f of x as the 3 by 3 matrix involving sin x and cos x. Then we have to discuss the validity of the statement 1 and statement 2. We will now discuss the solution of the problem in detail. Right. Here are the. So first we take f of x multiplied by f of y. So what is f of x? this 3 by 3 matrix involving sin x and cos x multiplied by f of y wherever there is x you write y so these are the two matrices 3 by 3 matrices multiply so if you multiply you will get first row first column you will get cos x cos y minus sin x sin y plus 0 that is this one and uh, second row, first column, when you multiply, sin x cos y plus cos x sin y. This is the one. And uh, multiply the third row with the first column, then you will get 0 times cos y plus 0 times sin y is 0. And 1 times 0 is 0. Like that. Like that we compute and multiply. So we are very familiar with the multiplication of matrices. You do it. And after multiplication, we get this one. Well, now we realize cos x cos y minus sin x sin y as cos of x plus y. Sin x sin y plus cos x sin y is a sin of x plus y. So like that, so you will get this one as cos of x plus y. And uh, this is minus sin of x plus y, 0. Sin of x plus y minus this is uh, cos x cos y minus sin x sin y is cos of x plus y and 0 and the third row is 0 0 1 so what is this it is precisely f of x plus y that means in the in f of x wherever there is x you write x plus y then you will get this one so f of x multiplied by f of y we get f of x plus y that is the statement 2 that is uh, what we have seen is the statement 2 is true. Agreed. We continue in the next slide. Right. We have seen f of x into f of y is equal to f of x plus y. That is the statement 2 is true. Now substitute y is equal to minus x. So in this 
in this in this substitute y is equal to minus x so if you put it then f of x into f of y f of minus x is equal to f of x plus y x plus minus x so f of x plus minus x is 0 f of 0 so that is f of 0 so f of 0 means go get into f of x and wherever there is x you write 0 so it is cos 0 minus sin 0 0 first row sin 0 cos 0 0 second row 0 0 1 so we know cos 0 is 1 and sin 0 is 0 so then we get this one as 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 which is nothing but the 3 by 3 identity matrix so that means f of x multiplied by f of minus x is the identity so this will you can also see you can also see f of uh, f of minus x multiplied by f of x is equal to identity you can also see you can check for that matter so this will imply f of minus x is the inverse of the matrix f of x so that is the statement precisely statement one so this proves the statement one is true thus both the statements statement one and statement two are true so both the statements one and two are true let's look at our options in our options our our conclusion both statements one and two are true appears against option two therefore the answer to this question is option two so that is the detailed discussion of the solution of the given problem i am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem let's move to the next question so the this question has appeared in jee main exam held on 29th january 2024 in the first shift the given question is let a be a square matrix such that a a transpose is equal to identity then 1 by 2 capital a multiplied by in brackets a plus a transpose square plus a minus a transpose square is equal to we are given four options so we are given capital a is a square matrix and uh, a a transpose is equal to identity then 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 we have to compute what is 1 by 2 of a in brackets a plus a transpose square plus a minus a transpose square right now we will now discuss the solution of the problem in detail it is a very simple question so we have a square matrix a and it is also given a a transpose is equal to identity now let us take uh, 1 by 2 a into a plus a transpose square plus a minus a transpose square simplify this one 1 by 2 into a in brackets a plus a transpose square is a plus a transpose multiplied by a plus a transpose the next term is plus a minus a transpose into a minus a transpose now 1 by 2 into a and apply distributive law distributive law that is 1 by 2 a into into if you multiply a a plus a transpose into a that is a into a a square a transpose into a plus now a into a transpose plus a transpose into a transpose this is the one likewise here also you do it you have to take care of the minus right now after multiply after multiplication what we see is a transpose a minus a transpose a cancels a a transpose minus a a transpose cancels so what is left is a square plus a square 2 a square uh, a transpose a transpose plus a tra that is 2 times a transpose a square. so therefore you can take 2 common 1 by 2 into a multiplied by 2a square plus 2 times a transpose a transpose 2 2 cancels so you will get uh, you will get uh, a into a square a cube plus a multiplied with a transpose a 
a transpose a transpose now apply uh, the associative law for multiplication then you will get a cube plus a a transpose in brackets multiplied by a transpose a a transpose is given to be identity identity so in this in that place you write identity a cube plus i times a transpose so that will be equal to a cube plus a transpose let's look at our options a cube plus a transpose so this is uh, the up it appears against option 4 therefore the answer to this question is option 4 and it is a very simple and straightforward question and uh, I am sure that you have understood the solution. Let's move to the next question. And this question has appeared in the JEE main exam held on 29th January 2024 in the second shift. The given question is, let A is this 2 3 by 3 matrix and P is this given 3 by 3 matrix. Then the sum of the prime factors of the determinant of P inverse AP minus 2I is equal to. We are given four options. We are given a 3 by 3 matrix A and another 3 by 3 matrix P. And uh, you have to compute uh, the determinant of P inverse AP minus 2I. And that for that, that the determinant is a number, is a number. And the, for that number, you have to find the prime factors and get the sum of the prime factors of that number. Yeah, that's a, a very easy question again. Agreed. Let us take now determinant of P inverse AP minus 2i. That's equal to determinant of P inverse AP and in the place of I, we will write uh, minus 2 into P inverse P. 2 into P inverse P. Now the question is, now anyway P inverse is given, we write this way. So now this is equal to determinant of P inverse pre factor, P the post factor, take common. That is determinant of P inverse of a minus 2i multiplied by p, the determinant closes. So now apply the rules of uh, the, the determinants. Uh, the determinant of the product is the product of the determinants. That is equal to determinant of p inverse, the determinant of a minus 2i into determinant of p. Right. Now determinant of p inverse is 1 by determinant of p when p is non singular. Yeah. Yeah. You can see that. So determinant of P is, you can compute the determinant of P and expansion is given. Determinant expansion through its first row and it is not equal to 0. Because it is not equal to 0, it is non-singular. Therefore, its inverse exists. So when the inverse exists, P into P inverse is equal to P inverse into P is equal to identity. Take the determinant trans both sides. You will get the determinant of P inverse P is equal to determinant of I. That is equal to determinant of P inverse and multiplied by determinant of P is equal to 1. Therefore, determinant of P inverse is equal to 1 by determinant of P. So, when P is non-singular, this is true always you can use. So, this is equal to 1 by norm P, 1 by determinant P. Determinant P, I'm sorry, it should be determinant P modulus of A minus 2i multiplied by determinant of P. So, they cancel, determinant of P, determinant of P cancels and you will get a determinant of A minus 2i. So, get into A and subtract 2i from A. So, you will get, you will get the, from the diagonal entries, subtract 2. So, you get this one, simplify, you will get a determinant of 0, 1, 2, 6, 0, 11, 3, 3, 0. So, that is what we get and expand it through its first row. And uh, we'll we'll see that this is 33 plus 36. That is uh, 69. 69 for that uh, the prime factors are 3 into 23. And uh, we want to find the sum of the prime factors of this determinant. Determinant of p inverse a p minus 2i. And uh, determinant of p inverse a p minus 2i is 69. 
and for that the prime factors are 3 into 23 therefore the sum of the prime factors of that determinant is 3 plus 23 that is equal to 26 let's look at our options so this 26 appears against option 1 therefore the answer to this question is option 1 that is the detailed discussion of the solution of the given problem and it is a very simple and straightforward question i am sure that you understood the solution of this problem let's move to the next question and this question has appeared in the je main exam held on 30th january 2024 in the second shift the given question is let r is equal to is a scalar matrix that is uh, x 0 0 0 y 0 0 0 z we are non zero 3 by 3 matrix and is also given x sin theta is equal to y times sin of theta plus 2 pi by 3 is equal to z times sin of theta plus 4 pi by 3 not equal to 0 where theta belongs to the open interval 0 to 2 pi for a square matrix capital M, trace of M denotes the sum of all diagonal entries of M. Then, among the statements, statement 1, trace of R is equal to 0. Statement 2, if trace of a joint of a joint of R is equal to 0, then R has exactly one non-zero entry only one non-zero entry. So, we are given four options. So, we are given R is uh, uh, yet the 3 by 3 matrix x 0 0 0 y 0 0 0 z it is a 3 by 3 matrix and it is given this one x sin theta is equal to y of y multiplied by sin of theta plus 2 pi by 3 is equal to z times sin of theta plus 4 pi by 3 not equal to 0 for all, for all theta belongs to 0 to 2 pi. Agreed. Agreed. So now take this uh, hypothesis and uh, take these two statements and one is the trace of R and the other is trace of adjoint of adjoint of R and see whether these statements each is equal to 0. Is it true? Let us now move to the its, its answer. That is let us now discuss the solution of this problem in detail. We have R is x 0 0 0 y 0 0 0 z a non-zero matrix and this non-zero matrix will give you a conclusion of at least one of these at least one of these x y z not equal to 0 that is not sufficient for us right given x sin theta is equal to y times sin of theta plus 2 pi by 3 is equal to z times sin of theta plus 4 pi by 3 not equal to 0 each is not equal to 0 when theta belongs to 0 to 2 pi now when let us let us take x sin theta x sin theta only x sin theta is equal is not equal to 0 x sin theta not equal to 0 when theta belongs to 0 to 2 pi, when theta belongs to 0 to 2 pi, sin theta will give you infinitely many non-zero values. So it says x times, x times infinitely many non-zero values is not equal to 0 means what? x must be not equal to 0 x must be not equal to 0 because it is true for all theta belongs to 0 to 2 pi so also for y so also for z so this will imply x not equal to 0 y not equal to 0 z not equal to 0 yes now take uh, x uh, that uh, they are all they are all, they are all equal equate each one is equal to k and given not equal to 0 that means k not equal now let us now write down 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z and that will be equal to 1 by k multiplied by in brackets sin theta plus sin of 
theta plus 2 pi by 3 plus sine of theta plus 4 pi by 3 bracket close and uh, this is a this is this result we know this is a, actually a problem actually a problem this you might have done and uh, the value of this is 0 so 1 by k into 0 is 0 so 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z is equal to 0 because uh, this one is 0 agreed now this will imply x y plus y z plus z x is equal to 0 after taking the LCM. Agreed. So let's move to the next slide. So we have this and these are the options. Now let's first of all take assume the statement 1 is true. Statement 1 is true means trace of r is equal to 0. Assume that the statement 1 is true. That means trace of r is equal to 0. Trace of r is what? Sum of the diagonal entries. That is x plus y plus z is equal to 0. Agreed. And we have already proved x y plus y z plus z x is equal to 0. That is the truth in the given hypothesis. In the light of the given hypothesis, this should be true. So now, because of your assumption, x plus y plus z is equal to 0, take this two x y plus y z plus z x equal to 0 and x plus y plus z is equal to 0. These two will imply each one of these x y z is 0. How do you say? Now take these two together and I want to see what is x square plus y square plus z square. That is precisely x plus y plus z whole square minus two times x y plus y z plus z x. And this is 0, this is 0, this is 0. So the sums of the squares is equal to 0. Each one of them is equal to 0. And thereby you will get x is equal to y is equal to z is equal to 0. A contradiction. A contradiction. Because x is not 0, y is not 0, z is not 0 is the, is the one what we have derived. And you are getting this one, a contradiction. This contradiction is due to your assumption. That means your assumption that the statement 1 is true is not true, is false. So, what's your conclusion? So, you'll get this, a contradiction. Because of this contradiction, you conclude trace of R not equal to 0. Trace of R not equal to 0. That means, uh, what you have proved is uh, the statement 1 is not true. So, what about the tracement uh, 2? Tracement 1 is not true. What about the tracement statement 2. Let's move to the next slide to talk about that one. So this is what we have so far and uh, now adjoint of r you consider. What is adjoint of r? Let's get into this one. X. Uh, you talk about capital M11 that is the minor of A11 is delete that row, that column and the determinant of this one. This is yz. So, the, the minor of x is yz. The minor of y is xz. The minor of z is xy. The remaining are all 0. The remaining minors are all 0. That is the adjoint of r. Now, in a similar manner, adjoint of this adjoint of r. Adjoint of this adjoint of r. So, the minor of yz is zx multiplied by xy that is x square yz similar fashion the minor of zx xy square z the minor of xy xyz square the remaining minors are all zero that is the that is the adjoint of adjoint of r now consider the trace consider the trace the trace of adjoint of adjoint of r is x square yz plus x y square z plus x y z square. Agreed. In this, x y z is common multiplied by x plus y plus z. Now, each of x not equal to 0, y not equal to 0, z not equal to 0, therefore the product not equal to 0, x y z not equal to 0, and x plus y plus z not equal to 0 because we have seen trace of r not equal to 0. 
So this is not equal to 0 x y z multiplied by trace of r not equal to 0 because each one of these x y z not equal to 0 and the trace of r not equal to 0. So thus you get uh, this is trace of a joint of a joint of r is not equal to 0. Therefore your statement 2 is not true. So neither the statement 1 nor statement 2 is true. That is our conclusion. Let us look at the options and our conclusion appears against option 4. Therefore, the answer to this question is option 4. And that is the detailed discussion of the given problem. It is, it is a, an interesting problem. Agreed. I am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem. Let us move to the next question and it is the last question in this discussion. This question has appeared in the JEG main exam held on 31st January 2024 in the second shift. Now, let A be a 3 by 3 real matrix such that A multiplied by the column matrix 101 is equal to 2 times the column matrix 101. Like that, two more, two more equations are given. Right. Then, the system a minus 3i multiplied by the column vector x, y, z is equal to the column, column matrix 1, 2, 3 has. So, how many number of uh, solutions? Do we have any solutions at all? If there are any solutions, what type of solutions are there? That are the, those are the options. Yeah, the problem is self-contained and let us move to the discussion. Let us now discuss the solution of the problem in detail. Right. Let A, we do not know A, A is a 3 by 3 real matrix, we do not know. Let us say capital A is equal to the 3 by 3 matrix whose first row is ABC, second row PQR, the third row UVW. It is a real matrix. Let us take uh, the first one. A multiplied by the column matrix 101 is 2 times uh, 101. So take that. And that means uh, take in the place of A, you take uh, this matrix, 3 by 3 matrix and multiply with 101. After multiplication, you will get uh, 101 A plus C, P plus R, U plus W. That is the column matrix is equal to 2 times of this. This is the column matrix 202. And equate A plus C is equal to 2, P plus R is equal to 0, U plus W is equal to 2. Likewise, you take the next one. The next one is this one. A times minus 1, 0, 1 is equal to 4 times minus 0, 1. It implies and uh, minus 1, 0 multiply. So you have to multiply A by this column matrix. Then you will get minus A plus C minus P plus R minus U plus W is equal to 2 times, uh, 4 times of uh, minus 1, 0, 1 column, uh, column matrix that will be minus 4, 0, 4 uh, equating, equating then you will get minus A plus C is 4, minus P plus R is 0, minus U plus W is equal to 4. And uh, like that the third one you take and write down the equations that arise. So you will get uh, these are the equations B is equal to 0, Q is equal to 2, V is equal to 0. And uh, now we take the red ones. They are containing A, B, C. So these three equations, three unknowns A, B, C, solve very easy. Solve them. B is 0. A plus C is 2. Minus A plus C is minus 4. And subtract, you get A and C. So solving, you will get A is equal to 3, B is equal to 0, C is equal to minus 1. Similarly, solve the blue ones. Then you will get P is equal to 0, Q is equal to 2, R is equal to 0. And now solve the black ones, then you will get u is equal to minus 1, v is equal to 0, w is equal to 3. Then take these values and substitute in capital A. Then the capital A is equal to 3, 0, minus 1, 0, 2, 0, minus 1, 0, 3. Thus we got the matrix A, then we move on to answer the question. Now it is also, it's, uh, you have to talk about the type of solutions 
that uh, this system a minus 3i multiplied by x, y, z is equal to 1, 2, 3 has. So now consider that system. So this is the system what we have considered. Now a minus 3i, that means uh, take a and subtract uh, 3i from that. That means from the diagonal entries, subtract uh, 3. So you will get uh, 3 minus 3, 0 minus 1, like that. So the diagonal entries, and we have subtracted 3 throughout. I simplify, you will get 0, 0, minus 1, 0, minus 1, 0, minus 1, 0, multiplied by x, y, z is equal to 1, 2, 3. Take the multiplication of these two. So then you will get minus z, minus y, minus x is equal to 1, 2, 3. That means uh, you will get uh, this one, minus z is equal to 1, minus y is equal to 2, minus x is equal to 3. That means x is equal to minus 3 and y is equal to minus 2, z is equal to minus 1. That we, that, that's, we got only one solution. This is the only solution for x, y, z. That means uh, this system has a unique solution. Thus, the system 1 has a unique solution. Let's look at our options and our answer. It has a unique solution appears against option 3. Therefore, the answer to this question is option 3. And that is the detailed discussion of this, this question. And we have come to the end of the discussion of those five questions of multiple choice questions from the section matrices and determinants that have appeared in the JE main January 2024 session. So I am sure that you have understood the solutions of all these problems. And uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you.